Welcome to London's Craziest Gangster with me, Mr. Fish. Keep it a dead man's Bible, all the rules are soft, thrown, and tossed, and washed away. Whose motto is if angels fly and devil die? <laughs> How come I'm still alive? Okay. Today we're going to talk about guns. Yeah? We're not just going to talk about guns. We're going to talk about women who hold guns for, for perpetrators of crime. Okay? Because today my mate has rang me. And believe me, I am effing fuming. Alright? So, you know what? I'm doing this one because it needs to be said. Girls. Mums. Girlfriends. Yeah? Whatever. Look. You don't hold guns for other people. You just don't do it. Okay? Especially when you have children in the house. You understand? Okay? You don't do it. It's not done. Because the guy who can leave a loaded gun in your house, yeah, and hide it amongst the kid toys, yeah, he don't give two fucks about you or your kid, alright? He don't. And when you get nicked, he don't give two fucks. Ladies, you need to think what you're doing. Or gentlemen, or anybody, you need to understand what you're doing. You are dealing with guns, yeah. A guy who wants to hide a gun around your house is telling you, yeah, he is capable of killing. That's the first thing you need to understand. He's telling you, yeah, I will kill someone if I have to. And you never know, ladies, yeah. It might be you. But when you've got a good job, lovely flat, beautiful son, daughters, lovely children, and you're bringing a gun into your house, and not only bringing it, you're bringing a loaded gun into your house and hiding it amongst the toilet. Listen, I, you, you have to be an absolute lunatic. I can't work it out. Like, come on. Start waking up. Start thinking. It's a gun. It takes lives. Yeah? I've been around guns for many years, yeah? Look. Ladies and gentlemen. If someone's bringing a gun to you, right? The first thing to say is, get it out of my house. That's the first thing. The second thing to say is, listen, mate. That gun ain't staying in this house loaded. Okay? Understand, yeah, if you're going to hold a gun, if you're forced into it, if you're under duress, or whatever the circumstances, always separate the bullets from the gun. That's just standard, especially when you have a fucking 10-year-old kid who's at the height of curiosity. Come on. Come on, man, you're not, you're not thinking, what, 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 is this for love? What, you're going to go to prison for seven years, huh? And let me tell you, let's even not even talk about seven years. Let's talk about a crash if you've got this gun and the ballistic comes back and the ballistics tell you that this gun has shot ten people. Now you're bang in trouble. Bang in trouble. Come on, girls. What is it that a geezer can give you that is going to make you risk your liberty, your children's liberty, risk your house and everything and in your house. You're throwing all that away to hold a gun for someone. Why? Why? What, what, how much does this, this geezer mean to you? How much does this guy mean to you? It's ridiculous. And then I went on Google there and we Googled mums with guns and it, you know what it's prevalent and there are so many innocent women going away because they thought oh we'll hold a gun oh we'll put it there oh he's all right nothing won't happen you know and i was speaking to a friend today and i was saying i can't believe she hid it amongst the toys and he said well he she obviously thought it was the last place there look listen 
when it comes to guns, yeah, they look under the floorboards if they have to. Do you know what I mean? They look behind the skirting if they have to. They pull the ceiling down if they have to. Do you understand what I'm saying? Come on, ladies. It's ridiculous. You gotta, you know, are you not thinking? Are you not thinking? Come on. Guns are dangerous things. They take lives. Yeah? That same gun could take your life. It could take your kid's life. Yeah? You hide that gun amongst the toys and that kid finds that gun at the height of curiosity. That kid could end up harming himself, they could end up shooting you. Come on. You know, I, this is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah? The same with, you know, when you're carrying drugs, but, all right, drug is bad enough, but a gun, a loaded gun in your house with your kids and family. What happens if that guy brings trouble back to your door? What happens if the guy shoots someone and they find out he's staring at yours and the people want revenge? And they come back to your house to get that revenge. And your poor kid gets hit, gets shot. Yeah, we've heard it in Liverpool, had it in Houston two days ago. You've got to start thinking, ladies, ladies, this is, you've got to start waking up, all right? The moment you decide to hold that gun, yeah? The moment you, listen, the moment you decide to hold that gun, you have just entered the world of criminality. You've entered the world of criminality. You, you become part of the game. Yeah? The moment you hold that gun and it goes wrong, is the moment you're saying, okay, well, I'm prepared to lose my house. I'm prepared to lose my flat. I'm prepared to lose my daughter. I don't care about her anyway, or my son. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. I don't give a fuck. Come on, ladies. Yeah? What are you, what, what possesses you? What, what makes you think Oh, I'm going to hold a gun. What, because he's your boyfriend? What, because he's your husband? What, because he's a good mate? What, because he sells you gear? Come on. A loaded gun. Yeah? Never, ever, ever let anyone leave a loaded gun in your house. It's just rules. Always separate the bullets from the gun. And that, I thought that was standard, but obviously it's not. I, I, mate, always separate the bullets from the gun. I said, there's law, religion, sacrament. I don't get it. Yeah, and then, when you get nicked, and that ballistic comes back with ten murders, well, now you're part of a murder investigation. Now, you, you know, you're five years, and remember, if I remember correctly, when you're getting hit with that gun, yeah, it's five years every bullet. Five years every bullet. Come on. Yeah. You're going to go and walk the landings in a women's prison for nothing. You know, you're throwing it all away. And guys, respect, but like, come on, you're going to leave a gun. Take the fucking bullets out the gun and put them separately from the gun. Especially if there's children about. I mean, they should, if, if there's children about, there shouldn't be guns in. Listen, it's, it's the law, religion, second. You shouldn't have guns around kids. It's, it, come on. I thought that was just standard information, but obviously, after hearing what my pal's telling me, obviously it's not. Yeah. It's understand guns. Guns are hard work, mate. Guns, listen. Being around guns, okay? You don't know how to uh, look after guns. I nearly once, uh, I nearly shot my own brother in the head with a gun because what happened was I said it was real. He didn't believe me. Only because I'm clued up about guns, this gun was a Luger. I never knew that a Luger, when you take the clip out, leaves one in the chamber. But it's only because I knew about guns and handles 
And when I went like that to him, I pointed at the floor, let it off, and a bullet went into the floor. And he looks at me, and he was telling me, but it's not real, it's not real, it's not real. And when he saw the bullet, he went, what? what? You, you could have killed me. You could kill me. What would you have done? I said, well, put you in a black bag and threw you in the river. What else do you want me to do? He said, well, you're not even going to tell my mum and dad. I said, fuck me. I'm not going to tell your mum and dad I've just blew you away. He said, come on. You have to know what you're doing around guns. Guns, listen, you got to know guns can take your life. Yeah? you got to know that when a guy comes into your house and says, oh, look, hold this for me, you got to know the geezer is telling you, yeah, he's telling you, I'm a could-be killer, or I'm a killer. That's what he's telling you, okay? And then, what's the mindset of the guy? Is he a crackhead? Is he a cokehead? Is he an ear? What's his mindset? Do you understand? Has he learnt from people in the game, or has he learnt from television? You understand? Is it, what's his mindset? Is he crazy? Can he pull a gun out on you in an argument? Where? Yeah, could he put it at the kid in an argument? Come on, ladies. It's ridiculous. You're going around getting involved with bad guys, holding guns. I mean, listen, if you're born in the game in the old days, and you was what is so-called, what was called a gangster's mole. It's a different flex because they're in the game, so they expect the bird, they know the rules. That's the, that was the game of villainy, criminality. But if you're not, why would you think in a million years that it's all right for someone to leave a gun around your house? I just, I can't work it out. And then leave it amongst the toys. Are you not? Thinking like, are you not thinking that your kid can go in there at the height of curiosity, pick it up, and pull that trigger? Are you, are you not thinking? You're not thinking when you're out and your kid goes in and thinks, oh, I'm going to go to the toy box and get get my toys and finds this gun. It's, 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 I, it's mad. Come on. You need to make sure... Yeah, that you understand, listen, nobody, I don't care who they are, I don't care where they come from, I don't care what they do. Don't allow nobody, nobody, to bring a gun, give you a gun, let you hold a gun, for any reason whatsoever, whatsoever, at all. Because the moment you touch that gun, is the moment you become a criminal. That's the moment you said, I, I'm in the game. That's the moment... You are now looking at a potential murder charge, attempted murder charge, conspiracy. That's it. And now, okay, let's get, let's, 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 let's get the ins and outs correct here. So we get Nick with the gun. You're a straight goer, yeah? So you don't know the rules of the game. So now you're like, right, police are frightening you with, oh, you don't do this, you're going to get that bird, this bird. Frighten them if you are, if you don't, then, oh, we can't give you a third of all. Yeah, you know, you know the rules, yeah? And so now... You now have to grasp up the guy who gives the gun. <sighs> now, you've got another dilemma. Yeah? He now wants to call you a grass. Grass, grass, grass. Yeah? But the joke is, you're not really a grass if you're not really in the game. You understand? If you're not in the game, you're not grass. And you don't know how to act and behave when you do get nicked. And so crash. So, you now give the name. Now you've got another headache. Is he going to come after you? Is he going to come after your kid? Is he going to come after your mum, your dad? Huh? I remember one, one famous case, and I hope the boys, I know them very well, they don't mind me saying. But I remember one case, and, and this strays away, but I just want to show you the implications of guns. One case down in Nottingham, and so boys, I hope you don't mind me talking about your case. You know I am very well, I know you are with good powers, I just hope you don't. But let me tell you something. They shot these boys, these, these boys, uh, very, very well known in Nottingham, they shot at their son. And when they shot his son, in the court, 
The guy that shot you, so you know what he said to the brothers? When I shot your boy, he looked like a jam donut with a hole in his head. That's what he told them. Thinking, oh, he's in prison. His mum and dad were on the witness protection programme. Everyone's safe. Now I'm going to mug them off. Oh, he mugged them off all right. Yeah, he mugged them off so good that even though they were under police protection, the boys found the parents and blew them both away. Mate, please understand what you're doing around guns. You, you, you're putting everyone around you at risk. Everyone. Yeah? You're putting your parents at risk. Your kids at risk. Your family, your extended family. You're putting everyone at risk. Come on. Yeah? And not even that. You know what? They say loose lips sink ships. Yeah. Crash. Yeah. Crash, crash. How's your father? Crash. What if someone else finds out that you have a gun there? Ah, oh, yeah, go out there. Let's go and kick the door off and get the gun. So you're bringing that side of things to you. And the next thing is then, well, hang on. If he's got a gun there, what else has he got there? Has he got gear there? Has he got dough there? What's he got a gun there for? If you've got a gun, you need protection. If you need protection, what well, do you need protection from? Come on. Wake up, ladies. Yeah, stop being cheap. Stop letting geezers. I don't understand. I mean, he must be good in bed or something. I don't get it. Unless, of course, you're on the gear. That's a different game. Then crash house your father. You know, if you're junkie and all that, and someone asks you to hold a gun, then maybe that could, you know, that that sway you. Then, but that's all to do with drugs and the game and all the rest of it. But when you get law-abiding mums, and this is what I've got right now, and this is why I'm so angry about this is why I'm pissed off, a law-abiding mum with a lovely kid, 10-year-old kid, who's got a brilliant job, a lovely house, sitting in Nick now, in prison. In prison, social services are now saying, whoa, 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 hang on, the kid's got to go with Nan. Now Nan, because the, the house ain't big enough, they've now got to move Nan to another house, now your house is lost. Now we've got to now, your nan and all that has got to find out, right, where are we going to store the property? What are we going to do with all the gear in our house? So you've added all that. Now, second thing is the kid. Yeah? The kid's now, well, where's mum? Where's mum? Yeah, so now we've got the mother. What are we going to tell the kid? The next thing now, right? Now we have Helena. This guy, or whoever it is, he knows that you've been nicked. So what does he do now? He drives up and down the street, up and down the street, because he wants to see if you've been there, because he's blind. He needs to know what you're going to say, because he's in trouble now, okay? So he's driving, driving, he's waiting all night long, he's not seeing you, he knows you're in mind. So, where does he have to go to try and get information? Hmm? Crash, crash, how's your father? Where does he go? Or she, she, women have guns too. Where do they go? if they need to get information about what the lady has said after her arrest. He goes to find the kid. He goes to talk to the kid. Ah, have you seen your mum yet? Ah, oh, what did she say? Ah, oh, uh, did she say anything about me? Ah, oh, what did she say about the gun? You understand? So now, you've got your kid Poor kid, ain't done nothing wrong in his life, you get me? Except fart and shit when it shouldn't do. Yeah, crash. You've got that kid in trouble now. Now, that kid, now, now he's following that kid, okay? So now he's following, he's waiting by the school gate, because remember that? Yeah, yeah, and then, you know, whoever's now got guardianship of your kid, now, yeah, they're brought into it now, because now the guy says, oh, excuse me, yeah, I just got to the kid. Then the person, grand or auntie or uncle, whoever's looking after the kid says, oh no, she can't talk to you. Now, that could lead to confrontation, could lead to, to fight, could lead to death. All because mum, girlfriend, daughter, decided that it, out of their brilliant wisdom, 
they would hold a gun for you. I understand what holding guns lead to. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, come on. What is it? What What is it? I don't understand. I mean, what What is it? He, what is he paying you? £5,000? What is it? He, remember, yeah, you now have to go to prison now. I mean, five year a bullet. Okay? Now, the gun's been used in ten murders. Now the police have to go, well, hold on. You got the gun. Are you part of it? Are you a hit woman? We have hit women. Yeah? Women shoot guns. Women kill people. So now, the police are like, oh, hold on. You're part of it as well. And you try and protest. They say, no, I'm a law-abiding mum. I go to work. I bring up my kid. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about crime. But you know what, young lady? We don't know that. Yeah. And your prints now are on the gun. So obviously, you're saying you've only touched it once, but how do we know you didn't touch it to shoot it? Okay, come on. You've got to wake up to what's happening here. Schoolgirls, yeah, don't let people influence you to hold a gun. What do you think holding a gun is going to do for you? Eh? It's not going to fucking heighten your, uh, uh, high in your image, is it? Huh? It's not, it's not going to make you old. Yeah, you're not... When you hold a gun, you can't go and tell everyone, oh, you're holding a gun, can you? So it's not like you're going to get a good image. Yeah? So, what do you think holding this gun is going to do? I, I don't, I just don't get it. What do you, what do you think is, what do you think is going to think when you get caught? Or when, what do you think it's going to do for your image, your, 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 your perception of other people? I just don't, I, what do you think you're going to get from it? I don't get it. What, you, women, look, they say behind every man is a good woman. And now it's changed because the way we've evolved and the way ladies are, it's changed. But they used to say behind every man is a good woman. And, and believe me, it was a true word. And women are great thinkers. Women, women raise men. Men, all right, grow up to control the country because they have masculinity and brain. But women have to think on their feet 24-7, 365, live, every day, regardless of what is put in front of them. They have to keep the men, the boys, the kids alive. Women are wicked thinkers. Ah, oh, mate, women are beyond. And the strength of a woman is immense. It's, ah, oh, it's second to none. None. Like when you hear a, a, a car has run over a woman's kid and the woman goes over and picks it up. That's the strength a woman has. She picked the car up and moved the kid. Come on. A, a, a woman is, 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 is the thinking machine of humanity. Not men. Men are great after, yeah, when we've learned. But women, well, you know, women have to take all the emotional side from men. They have to take them from kids, from, you know, from males. Women have from males, from growing up. Crash out your father, males, yeah? Women have to take all our shit, okay? And, and, and then you have to remember, oh, we all think we're bad boys. We all think, but remember, half of the shit we got, yeah? Half of our brains come from mum. <laughs> we got mum's shit. Mum's brain is in our nut, you know? Don't be fooled. Mum's in the game. She's on it. Yeah, she know. I mean, she's she might be legit, but even if she's lit, she still has to duck and dive and to take the twisted turns of how to maneuver the, uh, you so you're safe and you're fed and you've got a family and they still, you know, what I mean, they have to do they can do this twenty four seven. Yeah. So you can't now turn around to me. And tell me you didn't think. Because that's ridiculous. You're the best thinkers in the world. We do not exist without women. We don't exist. We do not dress ourselves, clothe ourselves, buy 
without women without women that install the basics, the ethics you understand? women are good things but it seems to me that when it comes to holding a gun or holding drugs or holding anything it's like to say a lot of women are just not thinking do you understand? or is it the fact that you don't like to be with a good guy. You want to be with a bad guy. Ah, oh, yeah. You like the bad guy. He's got the car. He's got the watch. Yeah, yeah. Where we're going out. He's in the D&G. The Gucci. The Versace. Yeah, let's run the show. He got a nice mother. Yeah, let's do it. I buy nice things every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's wonderful. You know what? Come on, mate. I'll tell you what. I won't even hold a gun for you. You've done that much for me. I'll tell you what. I won't hold a gun. You can park the tank in round the back. <laughs> Put the tank round the back. It's all right. No one won't see it. You're not thinking. Come on. You are going to lose the most precious. Well, we are supposed to be the most precious things in an adult's life. Okay. A kid. A kid. You die. For your kid, you're supposed to anyway. I'll die for Harry, and I'll die for Danny. You, you have to die, yeah. And the thing is, I ain't trying to be funny. See if that was my daughter. See if that were my daughter, and that fella, and left that gun there, mate. I'll be looking for that geezer right now. See, that's the next problem. Yeah, you are now putting me. Or your dad, or your uncle, because we all know someone. Let's get it right. Don't worry about old London's craziest gangster. Yeah, they spelt wanker wrong, right? That's not right. <laughs> Crash. Yeah, anyone be a gangster? Everyone got a dark side. So we all know uncle, auntie. Everyone knows someone who's naughty. Everyone knows someone crazy. It's not hard. And now you're bringing him. There he is. He's done his bird. Done his fifteen, twenty. Done all the fit. He's retired. But now. His poor daughter is in Nick because of this. No, I won't say the word, but it's a shit. And now he's got to come out of retirement, yeah? Go out, find this guy, and, you know, and, 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 and do what he has to do because that's a Libby. That's a Libby. And guys, look. Guys, do me a favor. Come on, have some respect, have some brains. Look, if you're going to leave it with a girl, yeah, understand that when she gets nicked, she's going to bubble you up. Now, understand, because that's a naughty sentence. Guys, if you're going to leave a gun with a girl, a female, a children, take the bullets out the gun. Take, separate the gun. Guys, if you're going to leave a fucking gun with a bird, Bury it in the fucking garden. Bury it somewhere. But don't leave it in amongst the toys. Guys, if you're going to give a bird a gun, yeah, then make sure it goes in the attic, away from Canada. You understand? Use your fucking brains. Yeah? Because now both of you are going. Yeah? Number one, yeah, you know how the police run the show. Well, I'll tell you what, love. If you don't give us the name, you're going away for a long time. And she's like that now. Yeah, loads of shit, shit in her fucking cell. So she now grasses you up, yeah? So now you, yeah, are on the run. Wonderful. Now you're on the run. Now you got to worry. Now, that's not even the hard part. Oh, you got to run now. Brilliant. But the hard part is, when you get nicked later on, if that gun's been used, you got to explain why. How? Come on. Don't women, please. Women, children, they're true. Kids don't hold guns for people. You know what? Children do not hold guns for anyone. Women don't, just don't hold. If someone wants to play with guns, then let him hide it in his place, in his power. Yeah? Let him take the risk of what that gun is going to bring. But don't you ever, ever, on any circumstance, ever hold a gun for anyone. And that goes to children, to teenagers, to mums. Dad, don't ever, ever hold a gun for her. Right, that's all I'm going to say on the subject, yeah, because crash, I'm angry. 
So, boss, I hope you take heed, okay? Mums with guns, girlfriends with guns, daughter guns. Please, check it out. Right, Mr. Fish, okay? Sorry I was a bit serious today, but I've really got the arm, because it's happening with my friends, and I am fucking pissed right off. So anyway, crash out of your father. Remember to hit the button to like and subscribe to keep your show alive. Sorry to be so serious, but do me a favour. Please, 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 if someone offers you a gun, just tell them no. They can't keep it in my house. You can't keep it in my guy. You can't keep... No. It's just no. Crash. See you soon.